Hi everyone, in this video I want to go over three good books for learning differential equations. Now these books are really good if you want to learn differential equations on your own or if you're taking a course on differential equations. These books will go along very very well with what you're actually learning in your classes. Let's go over each book really really briefly. So the first book I want to look at is the one by Andrews. Out of all of the books we'll discuss in this video, I really think this might be the most beginner-friendly one. This is not a very well-known book, by the way. Uh, I don't even know if it's still in print. Let's look inside it. The book was written in 1982. That was a long time ago. The table of contents in this book is really standard, and this is the case for all of the books. I picked these three books because they all contain like the standard info taught in a regular class that you would take in college. It starts off with basic concepts, then it goes on to all the usual uh, solution techniques. It has all of the usual applications, then it goes on and talks about higher order equations, and then it has uh, some more applications involving initial value problems. It then discusses Laplace transforms, and then systems of equations. It finishes with numerical methods, and I think it's interesting that it finishes with power series. Not all books finish with power series. I actually teach uh, differential equations, and when I teach, I also finish with power series. So go Andrews, right? So, and then it has answers to the odd numbered problems. So three really good things about this book. Uh, the number one thing about this book is the readability. This book reads better than the other books that we're discussing in this video. Now it's not perfect. Uh, no differential equations book is perfect. No math book is perfect. It just doesn't exist. But I do think it's better than the other books in terms of readability. I feel like the level is more for beginners. I think Andrews put more effort into writing this book maybe, or maybe just it's just the way it's written. It's a little bit easier to understand. The examples are really, really clear in this book. Andrews does a really good job of explaining things. Again, uh, slightly more clear uh, and sometimes much more clear than other textbooks on the subject. Another big plus of this book is that there are so many exercises in it. There are tons of exercises, so you get tons of practice if you're looking for practice problems. And another plus is that there are answers in the back of the book to all of the odd numbered problems. So this is a great book for self-study. Again, the book is Ordinary Differential Equations by Larry Andrews. Really good book on differential equations for self-study. I'll leave a link if I can find one in the description. This next book is the book by Zill, a first course in differential equations. This is the table of contents and I'll just talk as I go through it briefly. It's very similar to the Andrews book. Uh, all of these books have you know similar material. It's just the way things are explained is different. This is actually the book that I use to teach differential equations, so I am extremely familiar with this book. And the reason I like this book and the reason I use it to teach is because I like the exercises. You know, most of the time um, when you're teaching a math class, the most important thing is the exercises because those are the problems that, you know, people are going to be doing. As far as the material, you know, most of these books are pretty similar in readability. I think the Andrews book is a little bit better than this one in terms of readability. When I first started using this book to teach years ago, I remember going on Amazon and reading some of the reviews and there was some negativity about the readability. And I reflected back on my experiences reading it and I thought, yeah, yeah, it makes sense. It's pretty easy to read. Some parts I had to think a little bit more than other parts, but Overall, uh, it's a pretty readable book. Um, now, when you're taking a class on differential equations, it feels different, right? So my perspective is different than the perspective of someone who is just learning uh, the material. This book has tons of problems. I think it has more problems than the Andrews book. So you get tons of practice uh, if you're looking for practice problems 
in differential equations. You get tons of examples in this book. It's ridiculous. I mean, look at this. So many problems. Look, 70 questions. I mean, yeah, tons of exercises. And just like the Andrews book, you do have answers to the odd number of problems in the back of the book. As far as a book for self-study, I think the Andrews book is a little more gentle than this one, but I recommend getting all the books in this video. It's better to have more books than less books. And you can get an older copy of this book. You don't have to get this new edition. You can find an old edition on the internet for probably just a few dollars. Again, the book is a first course in differential equations with modeling and applications. And this, this is the book by Zill. This last book is actually the book that I used when I took differential equations. It's Fundamentals of Differential Equations. And this is the edition that has the boundary value problems section. So it has extra sections. You can just get the one that says, you know, Fundamentals of Differential Equations. You don't have to get the uh, boundary value problems one. And this is the book by Nagel, Saf, and Snyder. This is also a pretty good book for self-study. I think it's a little bit harder to read maybe than the Zill book. Um, certain things are done a little bit differently. For example, when the author discusses unit step functions, they're defined slightly differently in this book than they are in the Zill book. Um, there's certain things with Laplace transforms, certain formulas that are given in this book that are not given in the Zill book. So all books are slightly different and not all books are created equal. Nevertheless, this is also a good choice to have. And this is the book that I used when I took the course. One of the big pluses of this book is the exercises. Just like all the other books, this book contains tons of problems. And the problems are different, right? They're not the same problems in each book. So sometimes I look at this book for ideas. Uh, if I'm looking for like a different problem or a different idea, I'll look in this book. Because it's so similar to the Zill book, um, really either book uh, would be good for self-study. And just like the other books, it has answers to all of the odd number problems. If you've made it this far in the video, you've noticed that all three books are pretty much the same. I mean, they're all really, really good books on DE, with the Andrews book, I think, being the most beginner-friendly book. So that's it. Those are three really good books on differential equations for learning differential equations. I think these books uh, would go well with some videos, for example. I know I've done tons of videos uh, on differential equations, and I have them on multiple playlists on my channel, and they cover pretty much most of the material, not all, that is found in these books. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.